Hi, welcome to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives archives here on the sixth floor of the Irvis office building. This is our new campaign exhibit called Do I Have Your Vote, which features campaign memorabilia from the 1970s up to the 2000s. My name is Taylor Mason and I'm the outreach archivist here for the House archives. Our first poster is on knocking on doors. So every member, it's a big part of their campaigning. They knock on constituent doors. So on the top of our poster, on the left is Representative James Kelly talking with a constituent at her home. On the right is Representative Peter Wambach also visiting a constituent. In the middle, we have Representative Matt Gobbler. There's a quote there talking about how much weight he lost walking door to door. And then below that, we have Representative Robert O'Donnell talking with constituents on the street in Philadelphia. On the right is Representative Greg Fight showing his shoe, which was actually worn out so much from walking door to door, he actually wound up getting a hole in his shoe. Below that, on the left, is a quote from Representative Thaddeus Kirkland talking about also wearing out his shoes. So you see a theme here. On the right is Representative Susan Laughlin and talking about campaigning and how she really wasn't a fan of campaigning and her husband also was a member in his campaign experiences. In the middle we have another picture of Representative James Kelly with a constituent in his district. So after their initial campaigning, during the regular campaign year or just a regular session, members are always at events on um, parades and fairs and all sorts of events. So here you'll see um, different representatives at events in their district. For example, on the top row, we have Representative Kerb Boley in a parade with a banner with his name on it. In the middle is Eleanor Taylor speaking at a campaign event. On the right is Representative Alice Langtree waving at the crowd at a campaign event with another member, Representative D. Michael Fisher. Below that, we have Representative Greg Fight with his campaign car, and you can see a campaign banner on his little car there. We have Representative Mike Terzai with constituents at an event, so you can see all sorts of banners and things at that tent at the event. Below, we have Representative Alice Langtree hanging a campaign re-election sign. We have Representative Bill DeWeese with a campaign van, so you can see his name. So we drive around the district with, the, with his name on it, promoting his campaign. And our last picture is Representative Rosie de Youngblood with another campaign poster at a local grocery store. So they're always trying to get into the district and be at all sorts of different events. Our third poster here is more traditional featuring newspaper ads. So it's, this is probably between the 1970s and 2000. So prior to social media use, which is what a lot of members use today. But prior to that, a lot of members did newspaper ads. So you'll see a variety of newspaper here. So we have um, for former speaker Sam Smith at the top, Phyllis Mundy at the right hand side. We have former speaker Leroy Irvis on the left, Jay Wells. We have Harry Biddle, Jeff Coy, and Jack Seltzer. So you can see it's a very similar pattern. They usually talk about their district, what they're really good at, um, what district they represent. So it's a very traditional form of campaigning, much different than what we see today. So after months of work of campaigning and knocking door to door, swearing in and taking the oath of office is the final result. So you'll see many pictures here of members being sworn in on the House floor. On the top we have Representative William Robinson on the left. In the middle is Thomas Gannon. On the right is Representative James Mandarino. And in the middle we have Representative Dan Fleck with his family, Representative Anthony Colazzo with his family, Representative Lois Haggerty, Representative Dave Richardson at the well of the floor, Representative Mike Max Pavinsky, and Representatives Deborah Kula and ba Barbara McElvain Smith at the bottom. This is a sample voting machine from the Automatic Voting Machine Company. It would have each of the members or whoever was running for a specific political seat up here, and you could correspond, pull the lever underneath each of the names, or you could also vote straight ticket by pulling the Republican pulley here, the Democratic pulley here, and then this would clear your ballot at the end after you were done voting. 
This is a sample ballot from 1958. It shows all the different presidential parties and positions open in 1958. So we have Richard Nixon running for president, all the way down to the Peace and Freedom Party. So it would have all the different types of parties here from constitutional, socialist labor, peace and freedom. And then also on the right would be a picture of each of the individuals. Each individual had a number. So example, Robert Casey ran for Auditor General in 1958. His number was 4B, so you would pull the 4B lever on the corresponding election voting machine here. This display case here talks about voters getting to the polls. To your left is a voter registration form, which would have been done by paper only and physically submitted. Nowadays, we all do everything online. You can register to vote online through the state site. Next to that is a voter petition. So if a member is running for office, they have to get a number of signatures to qualify for the election. We still do this today. Members still have to get petitions signed in order to submit to run for office. In the middle is another sample ballot, which is still around today. It still has the samples of where the tickets are and where people's names are gonna be. And on the end here, is a guide for election day by um, the member's picture you see to the right. That is Representative Sam Morris. This would have been for any poll workers or staff on his campaign. Just a step-by-step -step guide of what members and volunteers should do on the day of elections. Here we have different types of campaign memorabilia. A lot we still see today. Behind me you'll see two t-shirts. One for former speaker Mike Terzai. And then below that the pink one is for former member Ruth Rudy when she ran for Congress. We still see a lot of t-shirts today and hats and all sorts of clothing items. On the wall you'll see different types of campaign pins and memorabilia. Also we still use a lot of these today, specifically the pins. So you'll see different members. We did some close-ups of the pins. And in this case you'll see another variety of pins here. So we have Pins from all sorts of members, all parties, um, probably going back to the 1960s, 1970s. Um, some particular ones of interest, we have uh, former speaker Jack Seltzer. This one is really neat. This is Charlotte Fawcett. She used a actual sink faucet as her little logo here. We have Bob Gottschall, Mike Hanna. So we have a whole bunch of different members that are featured here. To the left, we have a large bus sign, which is for Richard Geist, that would have gone on the side of a bus in his district. And below that, there is a large magnet for Representative Lynn Herman. So you still see a lot of advertisements like magnets and large signs like, you, like here today. Um, they still use those types of materials back then. These items here in this case are more traditional campaign memorabilia items that some of them we still see today. We still see bumper stickers like here to the right. You see a lot of bumper stickers here. Here are some examples of a few. We have campaign pins. We still see pencils that you see in the front. Sometimes you see notepads which are underneath the pencils. This is a catalog in the middle that you could order any style you wanted of campaign materials. For example, we have it open to pins. You just had to put your name and whatever slogan you would want on it. In the front are some things we typically don't see as much today but are very traditional for older campaign memorabilia and those are nail files and hair combs. We also have a fan back here. There is a balloon in the front of that. Hats. Hats are very typical of today, and back then they also used hats as well. Here's a poster of a 1900s Republican ticket for all the members running in Dauphin County. Rulers. We still see some rulers today. They used them back then as well. In the back is a more traditional, different form of a hat than what we're used to seeing in a baseball hat. This is a styrofoam hat from John B. McHugh. So he would have worn that for campaign purposes. In the back corner is another version of a campaign poster, which we do see some of those varieties today. This display here are some unique one-of-a-kind items that we don't see every day. At the far end, you'll see a Sam Smith pot holder. Pot holders were very popular in the early 2000s, not as much today. Behind that, you'll see a small pocket mirror, and below that is a packet of seeds 
Forget-me-nots from Pat Vance. That was her campaign item for that year. We have a measuring tape from the early 1900s. There is a sewing kit in the front, very typical of the 1920s, um, especially after women got the right to vote. Sewing kits became very popular. We have magnifying glasses. There's a pill box in the front, coin purses, little pennants here, as you see the red object that says shell hammer. One thing that we find really interesting are these two note cards here. They are also from Representative San Morris. They are recipe cards from his wife that she would send to constituents in order to get them to vote for her husband. So there's different recipes. There's a whole set of recipe cards. We also have a thimble, a little pick for Jeff Bacola, frisbees, sponges, a paper record, and then um, some paper dials that would tell you statistics about the state. These are all unique, one-of-a-kind items that you probably will not find in other campaign collections. Thank you so much for joining us today here at the House Archives, showing you our new exhibit, which is on House Campaigning Through the Years, also called Do I Have Your Vote? We're here on the sixth floor of the Irvis Office Building, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We hope you'll come see us, and in case you can't, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.